Welcome back to your daily message from our Divine Compassionate Guides. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Julianne Duffy. My purpose is to live, speak, and seek the truth in all forms to help reconnect humanity to the highest form of authenticity. Thank you so much for joining me. And my intention with these readings each time I pull these cards is that the message will help heal and serve you, the viewer, in the most divine and appropriate way. As an offering to continue to, uh, that this exploration of the spiritual growth, I am offering an, an Unlock the Power Within three-day challenge to elevate your authentic connection to spirit. This is a free event going on December 26th, 27th, and 28th, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern. All the information is in the description box. Please do join me. Let's jump into our message. Today I'm pulling from the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards by PhD Doreen Virtue. So let's jump into it. So the first part of this message, Maeve, cycles and rhythms, honor the cycle of your body, energy levels, and emotions. So this one's very much about balance, finding that balance, which we've had come up very recently as well. Our next part of this message austera fertility so this is a great time for new projects new things to be birthed new conditions that type of stuff and our last part of this message aphrodite the inner goddess again this one also comes with getting that balance of the masculine and the feminine so this is coming up a couple of times here really about getting that balance so it's also again really the balance between the what the masculine and feminine is really the balance between being here in this realm and that 3d realm and our head in the clouds and again that that duality and that balance that we need within right so let's jump into each of these messages a little bit more today so take that deep breath in and as we exhale let's just dive right into Maeve so honoring the cycles and our energy so this one is really that all of our life is cycl cyclical the moon the stars the very universe life inhales and then exhales again so why should we be surprised or upset when we, we too have cycles? There are times when we go from very isolated and shy to very outgoing. And we might have these different cycles in our body. So this one is really telling us to make sure we have time to rest, that we're be taking care of ourselves, and that a doorway of opportunity has opened and you need to walk through it. So that's part of this as well, is that this, that doorway that we've been encouraged and guided to go towards is open. That's part of this. This is the cycle towards it. And it's time for us to take that step forward. And then if we jump to our austera, the fertility, here we see, and here, here we see, where, where we see, here we see the, the basic idea of, you know, this is a time for where light increases where the things that we've been putting our energy towards are starting to come into fruition. And that, you know, if we are feeling dark, heavy, or depressed, it then we need to lighten ourselves up with positive intentions, nutritious foods, anything that can sparkle feelings of love. And of course, that connection. So this might be also the call for yourself to, again, that three-day challenge. Unlock the power within yourself. This might be that that guide just to say that that we need to bring back that spark to help us connect so we can get ourselves out of that darkness or that dr that doldrum that's really what it feels like and um this one really goes on it's an opportune time to make changes in our life and there will be a resurrection of the old and our new ideas and ventures will be successful and then the last part of this message our aphrodite our inner goddess this is the balance of the male and female energy, taking care to heal ourselves and just be allow, allow ourselves to be receptive of all these changes so that, uh, you know, we can go forward with that perfect assistance. So I feel like today's message, we have a door opening. We're going through the cycle. It's time for us to walk through that door and the door, if that is connected to these new opportunities, these new projects, giving birth to the new conditions and solutions that we're going into. But it's going to be important that we have a balance. We've got the balance as we go forward to manifest in the most divine and appropriate way. 
So as always, I hope this did help heal and serve you. And as we go forward, just take that moment. Take that moment each day to set your intention, to reconnect connect with spirit, and to allow yourself to be elevated to your authentic connection. Until tomorrow, namaste.